Let's yep. talk about what some of the reasons are that bands break up. Um, in the experience that I've had with bands breaking up, um, it's rarely on amicable terms. Yeah. Um, even even if they say it has been, um, yep. a lot of the times it's it's because they feel at least at least one person in the band isn't pulling their weight. Um, and whether that's creatively, um, or whether that's uh, you know they didn't help pack out, uh, you know load out at the end of the night, um, you know a couple of nights in the row in a row, or um, you know they haven't been able to agree on you know things like either within the songs or within their business. So you know what uh, you know perhaps the the way they market themselves, they can't agree on that, um, or whether you know it's how they divide their money. Um, you know, it's. I've been in bands that have dissolved um, as well, um, and sometimes that's entirely a, a personality thing. Um, perhaps in the end, it's you just cannot, you know, abide by that person's personality anymore, um, and so that's that's a fairly deep seated one. But I think. You know, um, more often than not, it comes down to uh, how people conduct themselves in business, and sometimes people just don't have quite the right ideas, and they let the creative side impinge on how they do business as well. How about you, Paul? What's your experience as to why bands break up? Um, <clears throat> yep, yeah, uh, I completely agree with Tim. Um, you know, bands are like a marriage, really. You know, you, you're together so much of the time with your rehearsing, with your touring, um, and instead of being two of you, there's usually four of you, you know. So it does take a special band that can get through, particularly the tough days, um, even though they're often the best days, um, to get through on, you know, minimal income, trying to stay alive, um, the grind of touring. Um, uh, and money can often be the scenario and I've found over the years the thing that can often break up bands is success. That, um, really? yeah, yeah, it, it's, it's funny how um, suddenly things can start to happen for a band where they, they're out of the, the grind and they might have a hit record and they're, they're out on the road and touring and and then a, lot, a whole lot of other things start to come into play um, in terms like of... Well, like um, um, just just life in a different zone, you know, where they're offered so many things and um, um, guys react differently to success, you know. Some handle it really well, others are not quite sure, so sure about it, even though that's what they've aimed for. Um, and it can be um, often as stressful as um, uh, not being successful. And... Um, and it's 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 one of those things that uh, again you've got different people reacting to different scenarios and it takes a really strong-minded group of guys or girls to to keep the focus on what they're doing. Um, the other thing that does happen often with success is that uh, one person is seen to be making a lot more money than the others, and it's usually the songwriters, and um, that can be a source of um, angst for the non-songwriters, which is probably one of the things we're going to talk about as far as yeah. how bands should organise themselves financially because if you do have it worked out early and you've got the, the financial position in place early, when success does come, you do have a better chance of sorting things out than if you don't have anything. 